Welcome to A-Level Physics, looking at units, quantities and measurements. We will first look at the base units. All units in science are derived from seven base units. They are mass in kilograms, distance in metres, time in seconds, current in amps, amount in mole, temperature in kelvin and light intensity in candela. There are many other units that we use but all of these are derived by multiplication or division of some combinations of the base units. You can think of it like letters and words. We have 26 letters in the alphabet, but we have thousands of words in our language. Here are some of the derived units. Velocity in metres per second, acceleration in metres per second squared, force in newtons, energy in joules, power in watts, pressure in pascals, frequency in hertz and charge in coulombs. Now you have units. You often need to group these into larger or smaller numbers to make them more manageable. For example, you don't say that you're going to see someone who lives 100,000 metres away from you. You say they live 100 kilometres away from you. Here's a quick list of the common quantities used. Terra, T has a scale factor of 10 to the 12th. A common example is that large computer hard drives can be terabytes in size. Giga G has a scale factor of 10 to the 9th. A common example is computer memories are measured in gigabytes. Mega M has a scale factor of 10 to the 6th. A common example is a power station may have an output of 600 megawatts, or MW. Kilo K has a scale factor of 10 to the 3rd. A common example is mass is often measured in kilograms, i.e. 1000 grams. Deci, G, has a scale factor of 10 to the minus 1. A common example is fluids are sometimes me measured in deciliters, i.e. 0.1 of a litre. Centi, C, has a scale factor of 10 to the minus 2. A common example is distances are measured in centimetres, i.e. 100th of a metre. Milli, M, has a scale factor of 10 to the minus 3. A common example is time is sometimes measured in milliseconds. Micro, mu, which is a symbol from the Greek alphabet, has a scale factor of 10 to the minus 6. A common example is mi micrometers are often used to measure wavelengths of electromagnetic waves. Nano, n, has a scale factor of 10 to the minus 9. A common example is nanometers are used to measure atomic spacing. And finally, pico, p, has a scale factor of 10 to minus 12. A common example is picometers are used to measure atomic radiuses.